Hey, this is Rob Lawrence from SolveTech. So today I'm going to demonstrate how we measure double sticky tape. So this double, double sticky tape here has liners on both sides, which is very common for double sticky tape. So you can, you know, roll it up. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to use a subtraction technique. So I'm going to measure the whole thing, pull off the liners, discard the tape, then measure the liners, and then we do a subtraction in Excel to get the thickness of the tape itself. So you can see I've run it twice here. I've got very good repeatability. I'm very happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and put in a sample like this. So the sample is just getting scanned at three inches per second. We're taking a reading every eighth of an inch. So when I overlay the previous run, you can see that it traces really nicely. You can see that right here. So we get the same profile when we run it twice. So that shows repeatability, which is good. Um, next, we're going to go ahead and remove these liners. Now it's important we mark them so that we keep them lined up with each other. So I mark both sides. You can see here we've got this double-sided sticky. It's very thin. I almost did it. Score. So I kind of got them taped back together here. You can see I did these like little three dots just align the liners just so they're just where they were before. And I've got my starting point marked as well. So now I'm going to put these two in together. Um. Alright, that went really well. So now I can overlay so we can see the difference in the liners and the tape. So this is the tape thickness, is the delta here, between the liners with and without the tape. So we're gonna take that into Excel and get some uh, numbers here. Well, we can kind of see that the variability seems to trace the liner more than it traces the tape, and the tape seems to maintain a pretty consistent thickness. So that's a good sign. We can use this data to learn about our process. All right, thank you very much.